Hi, Mike and Patty. Uh, I know you guys got some pictures there on the link to the website that you got. So rather than just you know sending you more pictures, I want to do a quick little walkthrough video for you guys to consider. Um, I'm going to answer some of your guys' questions and show you some of the things I was talking about at the show, about the differences between this one and then uh, the one that we had at the show with the bed system that I'm not crazy about. I like this one much better, so let's take a look. Uh, first of all, it is a Thor sequence. So it is on the ProMaster chassis. It is a Ram product. Comes with uh, Thor's own warranty. It's two year warranty on the whole thing. And then your chassis has its own individual warranty as well. So right off the bat, you can see it's basically the same from the outside as the one that we had at the show. Uh, instead of black, this one's got the silver color to it, which I actually kind of like a little bit more. I think I might paint some Buckeye helmet stripes on it if this was mine. But let's take a look inside. So right off the bat, you're gonna notice rather than having the seat that's right here, you've got your galley and the galley is a little bit bigger and there's a little bit more space in there to get around than what you have on the 20J, which is the one at the show. <clears throat> um, this little guy right here is actually like a fold out table for stuff that you might have outside. And then this actually goes both ways and turns into like a little desk. So your captain's chairs can actually swivel right around and uh, this can actually be a workstation for your person sitting in the passenger seat as you're driving down the road. A um, little bit more storage down in there too with uh, 12 volt and 110 AC power as well. Um, this one also is just like the 20L or the 20J, does have the convection microwave. So anything that you would need to do like that would be done in an oven can be done right there in your microwave. Uh, right next to it, you have your 12 volt refrigerator. Uh, also pretty good size for a B-Van. And then as we come up in here, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. You can get a feel for the size of of the galley. So for a B-Van, it's a very good size galley. When you've got your burner down, it adds extra countertop space. I like the you know wire grill going all the way across this. So two burners there. You have a cover for the sink that gives you extra countertop space when you're not using the sink. And then this can double as a cutting board too. Uh, the windows all have um, multiple different kinds of shades, so when they're open, you can uh, block it out. There's a screen that pulls down from back here, and then you also have like regular straight up full blinds as well when you just want to completely blind it out. Uh, up front, you're gonna it's going to be the exact same thing. Uh, the chassis is the chassis up front, so not any different than the one we had at the show. A little bit of storage up here. Uh, this one does not have the sky bunk either, which is um, makes it a little bit cheaper as well. It's why I'm able to get down to that price that we talked about at the show. Um, and then here's what I really like about it the most in comparison to the other one. The twin beds, uh, they're nice big beds, very easily, comfortably sleep two adults in there. Um, and then you don't have to be crawling over somebody to get out of bed like you would in, in the other bed system where you're laying basically side to side. You can get your feet right out and go right back to the bathroom back here, which is actually the location of it is really what opens up the rest of this. It's in the very back. So the bathroom in the back here actually gives you a lot more leg room. Uh, if you don't remember, I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'5", so having plenty of knee room in the toilet is always a big thing. And I fit in there just uh, absolutely great. So you've got sink toilet and shower all in this little space right there's your sink just hiding back there uh, pretty nice little shower head and this actually also has the heat miser uh, system that it's going to actually recycle water through your shower pipes without putting anything out of the shower head until the water gets hot uh, when the water gets hot this little button down here actually changes colors you push it and it will unlock the hot water and then you don't have to stand there in the cold water while you're waiting on it to heat up um, there's a curtain that goes all the way around on this little track. You can see this is now I reversed my camera So it goes all the way around to keep your cabinetry from getting wet plenty of space in there Speaking of cabinets, you got nice big um, linen or you know clothes closet back here uh, Actual hanging bar two great big drawers This one's not it's not as deep as it actually looks because you've got uh, you got components underneath of there But still good size drawer so, and then obviously, you know, I've opened up the back door here. This was the other thing I was talking about with you guys. If you want to load stuff in as you're in the back door, you've got plenty of space to load some cargo, you know, bikes, kayak, whatever. You've also got roof racks up on top to, to handle anything like that. And then you have a full um, bike rack on the back as well. This dual bike rack, um, real big can hold I think three bikes at the same time 
and super easy to use. And like I said, for the rest of it, on the outside, it's pretty much the same. Uh, if you didn't see on the other one, you do have a exterior propane right there. So if you want to hook up your little black stone outside, you can actually pull your propane from inside of your unit to fuel an exterior grill if you wanted that. Uh, 110 power out here for your additional appliances. Um, it does have a powered awning as well with LED lighting underneath of it. Coming over to the other side. This is where all the fun stuff is on the curb side. So you've got option for additional solar hookup. Uh, you have 190 watts on the roof already, I believe. You can add an extra 100 up to 10 amps right there. This is gonna be for cable. If you're at a park that has cable TV, you just hook up by coaxial and you've got cable on your TV in there. That's uh, for power when you're hooked up to shore power. Um, this is where your sewer hose is gonna be stored. Hook it up to city water, make it nice and easy. You just hook right up there and the pressure is actually gonna push all the water through your lines on the inside. Or alternatively, if you're going off the grid and you're taking your own water, you just fill it up right there. Um, coming down here, this is something else I recommend to everybody, and I think I might have talked to you guys about this, but this is uh, a black tank flush. So when you go to flush out your black tank, that's where your toilet waste goes, uh, you're relying on gravity for the most part to do that. When you have a flush, you just hook up any kind of garden hose right to it. It's going to spray water through your black tank and clean it out real good so you don't have any unsavory smells that you have to deal with or worry about dried waste getting in there and, and coming up the inside of your line. So definitely, uh, as you guys are looking, if you don't get this, uh, I recommend that. It makes dealing with the black tank a whole lot easier. Uh, you do have a hitch back here. It's rated for 5,000 pounds, I believe. I'd have to double check that. I think it's 5,000 pounds. Um, you can't tow exactly a full 5,000 with it, but a small car, you could pull behind this or a small trailer with a motorcycle or whatever else you wanted to put on a small trailer. So that's that's about it. That's about as brief as I can make it. I tend to be a little long-winded sometimes. So uh, if you guys have any other specific questions, you got my number, shoot me a text and I'll get back to you, okay? Bye.